In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can create these 3D product ads right inside After Effects. Let's get started. I'll create a new composition here. I'll just rename this main comp and I'll go with full HD and in 20 by 1080 and 60 FPS and I'm going to go with 10 seconds. Hit OK. I have these two assets downloaded from these two amazing websites. You can find the link from the description down below. And also the project file is available on my Patreon page. And that's the way you can also support my channel. All right, enough talking, let's get started. So I'm gonna drag and drop this iPhone model inside the new composition that we have just created. And you'll get this. Just click on the make comp size and hit OK. And just make sure you your render engine is at advanced 3D, all right? so. Since the iPhone is black, it's really hard to see here. So I'm gonna hit Control K and change the background color to a lighter one so that we can see what's going on there. All right, so let's create a new camera straight away. And I'll stick with 80 millimeter because I'm gonna do some product shots. So I need a telephoto lens, right? So 80. Hit OK. So let's import the HDR image here and let's turn this off. Create a new light and I'm gonna change this to environment light and hit OK. And right here at the source, you can just select the HDR image and we're gonna come back here later on and maybe adjust this. So first of all, let's just move this camera up here. So let's select the camera and just go and select this dolly to camera point of interest tool. And maybe I'm gonna dolly inside. And I wanna start the animation from here. But the phone, let's just select this and hit R. And I'm gonna rotate the Z axis, right? Z axis to 90 degree because I'm gonna start from there. And maybe I'm gonna, I'm gonna dolly the camera out a touch here. I'm gonna set a keyframe for the position here. Set a keyframe for the point of interest as well. And I'm gonna move forward in time, maybe right about here. And I'm gonna dolly out somewhere here. So let's set, let's keep that for now. All right. And let's go ahead and create a controller for the phone. Okay, let's create a new null object, which is a 3D. And what I'm gonna do here is, let's just select the iPhone model first. And we're gonna, we're gonna rotate the iPhone from the bottom. So we're gonna change the anchor point here, right? So select this pen behind tool or Y on the keyboard and you can change this to the bottom of the phone so that if we rotate it, it rotates from the bottom, right? So once you're done with that, you can just rename the phone iPhone, I'll, I'll stick with iPhone underscore one. And I'm gonna select this iPhone controller null object that we have just created and put it just above the iPhone and just rename this controller one, okay? So let's just go and split the view into two. And I'm gonna set this, the left view to the top view, okay? The top view. And what I'm gonna do right now is, I'm gonna select the iPhone model, and I'm gonna duplicate this, Control D, and I'm gonna move this here, next to that, so that it don't touch it does not intersect with each other so we're gonna need six copies of this iPhone so I'm gonna just duplicate another copy and I'm gonna move it here I'll just do this real quick and I'll be right back after that all right once you're done with this you can just go back and switch it to one view and what I'm gonna do now is select the iPhone controller one and move it just above the iPhone one and make sure you have that 3D. And I wanna move this controller exactly at the position of this iPhone. So the easiest way to do is that we've always done this in our previous tutorial. Hold down shift and parent pick whip to the iPhone, okay? So that way it goes to that exact position. And I'm gonna turn off this parent. Instead, 
I want to select the iPhone and parent this iPhone to the controller. Okay, so I'm going to do the same for the other copies of iPhone. I'll do that real quick and I'll be right back after that. All right, once you're done with that, you can just select all the controllers here. I want to use this controller to control the rotation, the X rotation. I'll just set a keyframe for the X rotation and I'm going to move it somewhere here where the camera animation ends, I'll you here, maybe somewhere here, here. Offset the rotation values so that the iPhones are placed on a 360 degree radius. So the radius of the circle is 360. We have done this before on the 3D carousel effect. So we're gonna do this, but this time a little bit different. So let's just pull out the calculator here. Let's just say uh, 360 divided by, we have six copies of iPhone, we have six copies, so equals, it's 60. So I'm gonna select this controller and go to this and type in 60 times. Uh, since this is the number six, I'm gonna set this to five. You can see that? And let's just go to the next, which is number five, controller five. I'm gonna set this 60 times this time I'm gonna set just to 4 60 times 3 and here 60 times 2 and 60 and the other one to 0 okay so you have a perfect circle now you can display it that's really really nice we're gonna work with the easy ease later on let's just fix the animation Okay, so perfect. Once you're done here, you can see that it's not center. So we're gonna fix that right away. Let's turn on this title action safe. We want the iPhone to spiral around this center, right? So we're gonna fix the camera point of interest here. So let's just go here at the last keyframe and we'll just hit C a couple of times or you can just go here and you can change the pen pen camera point of interest tool. You can hold down shift and you can move it here so that it centers, oops, roughly center here. Okay, so once you play that back, I think the phone is too far away. Let's just pull it in a little bit. Let's just put that for now. Let's select the iPhone model now. Just go and select the iPhone. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Offset the position of this, hit P. And I'm gonna set Shift and R to bring up the rotation. Set a keyframe for the position and the orientation. I think we're not gonna set the orientation. I think we're gonna play with the Z axis. Yeah, Z axis, right? Z axis. Set so a keyframe for the position and Z axis. And let's go to here. So now I need to offset the position of the iPhones in the Z axis. So if I go and select, change the offset values here, it does not move because I don't know why it's not moving. So what I will do is undo this and I'm gonna select the iPhone here, the number six, and let's zoom in and manually move it here. I think we'll move it to here. And I'm gonna copy the Z values that we just did. We just changed, copy the Z values, and I'm gonna select the iPhone models, three, uh, let's just see, it's five, four, three, two, and one. And I'm gonna paste the Z values here, right? So as you can see here, now that we change the Z axis, the, the Z values, you see that it spirals out like this. That's very nice. And we're gonna also set this rotation to a negative 90. Now zero, yeah. I think we're gonna select all the layers here 
select all the layers again the iPhone layers and I'm gonna set this Z rotation to zero now you can even offset the position more but I think I like this better than the previous one you can even you know just go to iPhone select the iPhone and you can just you know shift it somewhere here and you can just copy the values and select all the iPhones sorry all the iPhones here at once so once you select all that you can just paste the values here control V to paste you can shift that position like that right after that I think I need to change the camera here down a little bit and so what I'm gonna do is select while selecting all the iPhones I think I need I need to change the I think I need I'll just collapse all that and just move it below so that these are yeah you can select it properly like that okay it's easier for us to select it Let's just go right from here and till, till here. I think I will add a rotation of one. Full one rotation so that the iPhone model rotates it like this. And right now we have a very static camera animation. It stops there. I'll, I'll do some Z rotation to the camera. I think that's it. Go here and maybe let's see orientation. Yeah, I'll just add some value to this. Hold down Alt and click on that stopwatch and time times 50. So if we play it back now. You can see that that's very nice but the problem with that is the spiral is not happening from the center since the anchor point of this is the phone is at the bottom if we need the spiral to be at the center we need to start from here that way it spirals like this right that's really really nice and the one more cool thing I would do is I would just watch this And I'll animate the environment light so that uh, maybe I can change the color, offset it a little bit. I'm gonna set a keyframe for the X rotation and just go here and I'm gonna slightly change, change something like this. Yeah. And what I will do is I'm gonna create a new background solid. Just double click on this to create a shape. Just rename this to PG and move it down. And let's just go and add a gradient, a radial gradient here. And let's just go here in the properties and set this color. Maybe I'm gonna, maybe I'm gonna move this down here. Yeah. I think that's nice. Click this to a little darker gray. Yep, something like that. Hit OK. Close that. Okay, that's really, really nice. I think we need the lights. Control Shift and Y. Yeah, I think 120 is quite enough. Maybe 125. A little bit more brighter. Okay, now let's just go and select all this phone model. Hit U on the keyboard to bring up the keyframes. And what I'm gonna do is select all the keyframes here. And I'm gonna hit F9 for easy ease. And go to the graph and change the graph. Like this. And what I'm gonna do is go back to the normal timeline. Select this controller, hit U. Select all the keyframes. Maybe here I will select the keyframe here. All the keyframes F9 for easy ease, and I'll do the same graph for that. And one for the camera, hit U. Here, all the keyframes F9. 
nine. For easy ease. Go to the grab. This and let's have a look at what we have so far. Okay, that's really, really nice. Alright, once you're done with that, you can just select this main comp, drag and drop it to the new composition. Control K and rename this render and hit OK. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a motion blur. Right now you don't have a motion blur. CC force motion blur. And yeah, I'm gonna add stick with these default values. And that is how you create this kind of 3D product animation right inside of After Effects. I hope you learned something from this tutorial. Watch this video next. This is Motion Designer and I will see you in my next video. Take care.